Hi producers, today on Bitbender Show, I'm going to show you how to create custom drum kits on your Akai MPC. Let's say for instance, you actually have your own set of instruments, your kicks, your drums, and your, you know, all those things put together. But each time you have to just have to pick that and go drop it every time you want to work. I'm not even talking about temporary this time around. You can actually put all your kits together and create your own custom kit that you can load into any of your project anytime you want. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go. This is important for you if you don't want to work. Let's say you don't want to use the uh, template, but along the line in the course of your work as a uh, producer, you've been getting together some couple of kicks, some couple of snares, the highs and the lows, some couple of um, the hearts, the open and the close. You know, you've been familiarizing yourself with some of them in the course of you browsing through your folders. That can be highly tasking a lot because most of the time you want to go back that you know, I remember I used a particular kick or a particular snare before and now I can't find it. The best thing to do is to simply ensure you actually save that particular custom program. You can actually put your own programs together, save it, and then you can bring it into your own project anytime you are working. And this is how it works. Let's go. So let's say for the sake of the project, um, for the sake of this, we create an empty project, right? The first thing you need to do is you have to go into your files and search for those particular sound. So let's do that. Let's double click and then get into, I'm just gonna do this randomly. Um, so let me just, I think I should just go to expansion um, packs. So let me go to clip lounge. Um, so these ones, let me see. Yes, let's say for example, okay, I can make use of the techno clip. So let me just load this. I'm just gonna like, pick some randomly and then let's see what I'm trying to explain to you. So I like some things in the techno, right? That I'm hearing. And that exactly is what I need to show you. So let's say, let me go to another one. Let's say I like something here as well. I'll load it. It might be just one or two beats there. It might not really be everything, but I just like something there, but I want to keep using it. So let's continue. Let me go to maybe like the vault. On that vault. Mm. I like what I'm hearing here. I need it. Let me just load it. Now, I already have like about three different um, kits loaded, but I need to make my own out of all of these. And I want to be able to keep it so that anytime I need, I can easily come back to it. So I go back to my main program. Now, these are the three that I loaded. The classic, the techno. I thought I loaded it. Okay, classic garage, techno clips. Or the third one, let me see. Is it a plugin? If you ask me, I thought I loaded three. Okay, and the urban kit. And then there's a program one, urban kit. So this is what we're going to do. Let me go back to my menu and go to sample assign. What we have right now, everything, all the samples we've just loaded now is here. Everything is here. Scrolling down. Individually, they are all here. But I want to, I want to create mine. I come here and then I go to program, uh, no, no, not plugin, program one. Program one right now is empty. Uh, one of our videos, we talked about how you can easily just drag and drop. So let's come here. Hmm. Let's say I like that. I'm just saying I can drag and drop it on the second one here. Then it was still here. Okay. I like what I hear. I can bring it here. Let's say I like this. I like this. I like this. And then if you scroll down, let's say I like this snare. I can drop it here. I can drop this here. Like I said, these are just for demonstration purposes. You can actually, you have to browse through your own files and folders and put your own selection based on how you, you know, your own beat pattern and all that. So let's say I've already filled everything up here into program one. What that means is if I come back to my main, this now, 
already I have my beat and I'm like, I'm happy with what I'm getting right now. I'm happy with what is here. All I need to do now is use this particular edit tool under my drum program. This is program 001. I can easily come here and choose to rename it first. I can make this my custom beats, right? And then I do it. So now, if I come back to my menu, it becomes my custom beats. But how can I save this particular custom beat and be able to use it again when next I am currently working on, maybe like working on another program? And this is where that works. I come back here and instead of me to save anything else or save the project, I can just save current program. I hope you see that. Save current program. Right from my custom bit, I click here to edit and I can save current program. Once I click on save current program, it will ask me where I want to save it. So let me say I come here to Bender. That's one of my folders. And then I say uh, maybe Essentials, right? I can save it inside Essential. Once I come in here, I can actually save. It will save it in there as a custom bit. That means it's my own kit now and I can reuse it in any other project as I deem fit. So let's take for example, I am done with this project, I've saved it and all that, and I want to create a new project and I say new, let's say I don't need this anymore. And I can say, okay, don't save this, just give me a new project. And when a new project interface comes up, if I want to, I can easily and quickly go, um, just leave that, ignore that. I just um, updated my MPC firmware. Yeah, so that is allowed. So. This is a new program right now. I only have program 001 here and nothing else. So what do I want to do right here? I want to import that particular, I want to load that particular custom kit that I did. And to do that, I'll just simply go to my main and then I go into places, my vendor, I go to, I think I saved it inside essentials, right? I click on essential. These are all, as you can see, these are all the, um, the files, the work files that actually made up that particular program but I need to come to program. I can, you can see that my custom bits are XPM. Once I click on load, it will load that. And if I come back to my main here, you can see my custom bit. So this method will save you a lot of you know, time. Learn how to create your own custom kit from all the samples that have been pre presented onto you or from all the packs that you download from the internet or on all the one that you purchased it will save you a lot of time because most of the time, well, the reason why we buy, truthfully, the reason why we buy most of those packs is maybe that could just be because of one or two or three particular kicks or beats or snare or, you know, um, some vocals. Most of the time it's not because of everything. Some of them we already have. So cultivate the habit of, you know, creating your own custom beats, maybe like the kick or maybe like this for hip hop. And trust me, you have bank A, to H to play with that 64 part. That means each of your custom beats can take 64 different uh, 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 beats, 64 different notes that you can work with. And that will definitely help you. It will make your work a lot faster each time you want to work. It will save you time from browsing endlessly each time you need to load up beats. Just take a day or two off one day and create your own custom beats. Create your hip hop genre, create your R&B, create things you know you know, have your vocals, everything in one particular custom beat that you can just bring in straight and you can use directly on project and it can work on any project. So this is even away from templates. We're not talking about templates here. We're talking of you just creating your custom program. And also if you are the type that creates program that is to create beat pack for sale, this actually works because if you should go into your menu, that's your browser and you Export this, if you connect to your, system, to your system and you export this particular folder with a custom beat, it will go with all the, uh, all those other beat pattern, the beat, like everything here that made up that particular program, everything will go with it and you can actually distribute that. That's how to create your own custom key. And as you can see, even if you want to distribute, maybe like for sales purpose and all that, all you need to do is get everything together in that same order and then you can upload to the site whereby you can have your, your kit sold. But remember, don't sell pirated.